guys. I'm so excited for today's video because I just got this package in the mail and I had to sit down and film it. It's like past dinner time and usually I don't like to film at night, but I knew this package was coming and like I said, I'm just so excited. I'm of course talking about the new collection from Natasha Denona and this is my dream palette or my dream collection, my dream whatever you want to call these products and they are absolutely stunning. Now, I am not usually someone who like drools over some of Natasha Denona's palettes and color stories, but when I saw this sneak peek, I knew immediately that I had to have it. And I know that some people have said that the palette is a little bit similar to some of the other palettes in her collection, like the retro palette. I think that's the one they've been comparing it to. I don't own that one, but I feel like the one that's the most similar to this one has a lot of mauve tones in it. And I'm not really the biggest fan of mauves. Like I love pinks and purples, but mauves just aren't my thing. And when I saw this palette, you've all probably seen it. This is the My Dream palette, like I said in the beginning of the video. By the way, love the packaging on this. I think it is so cool, like the splattering effects on it. I'm here for that. I think that is awesome. And the color story in this is so beautiful. Like it's a very, very pretty neutral palette with a couple of pops of pinks and purple. And it has a multi-chrome in it, which you can see very clearly. Uh, in the pan because it, the, the flip in this is super strong. So I'm really excited. I don't have the trichrome palette, so I don't know how this one is going to compare, like the multi-chrome is going to compare to the one snap palette, but looking at this on its own, it looks absolutely stunning. And I also really like the matte selection in this. There are some beautiful shimmers. I feel like this palette probably didn't swatch as well as it's going to perform on the eyes because the swatches didn't blow me away by any means, but I can tell that this formula is going to perform really nicely on the eyes. And so we're just gonna kind of dig in. I will link this down below if you wanna go check it out. It should be available now at Sephora and on her website. I bought it from her website. Uh, but yeah, I think it's available other places now too. So I will link it down below, like I said, if you want to go check it out. I want to show you my first impressions on the other things in this collection because I have not opened these, I haven't swatched them, I haven't done anything to them. As you can tell, I've done my base makeup already, which I did this morning at like nine because I was expecting this package to come a little bit earlier, but here we are. So let's go ahead and check out the Face Trio. Now I'm really excited about this because I feel like the colors in this are going to be really nice for me. So let's see, okay, those are beautiful. Here are what the colors look like. Very wearable colors, gonna go with a lot of different skin tones. And I think that these are gonna work nicely for me. So I will say, I wasn't sure if the blush was going to be a cream blush or a powder blush. I hadn't done too much research. I just saw the collection, I was like, I'm buying it. <laughs> but it does say here that it is a cream blush, but swatching it, it definitely feels, it feels more like a powder if I'm being completely honest, which I prefer powder blushes anyway doesn't seem to be like super pigmented upon first swatch here, which again is a good thing. Beautiful color. I feel like this could work as both sort of a blush bronzer hybrid or just bronzer or just blush. I think that looks really nice. Next, we're gonna try the Glow Cream Base. This is definitely a cream that is way more creamy than the blush is. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so that is similar to the cream highlighter that she has in her highlighting palette. I decluttered that one because I bought it a long time ago and I just, I'm not really the biggest fan of cream products so I ended up decluttering that but it feels very similar and I did like it the times that I used it. Let's go ahead and try out the Dream Glow Highlight. Ooh, that is blinding. That looks, ooh, that looks really nice. Like I'm super excited about these. I think that those are really pretty colors. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with this one and just kind of see where we end up. Now, like I said before, I've already powdered my base because I always do that. Did I even say that? I think I said that, but I always powder my face. So these are gonna have to work on top of powders for me to get more use out of them because I just feel like cream products for me with my oily skin is a bit of a hassle. And I feel like it's always like that extra step that I don't really need to do. So if it doesn't work on top of powders, for me, it's gonna be a no, but that doesn't mean it's a bad product by any means. It's just a personal preference thing. So I'm gonna try it on top of powder and see how it works. We're gonna first go in with the cream blush here. I'm gonna take an angled brush. This one is, I don't even know where I got this. Like the handle is so rubbed off. It is such an old brush, but I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna go in. I did go in quite heavy in the pan with this because I wanted to see what the pigment was gonna be like, but that goes on really nicely. And even though I picked up a lot, oh, that looks beautiful. That is a really pretty color. And given that this is sort of a powdery cream, I guess I would call it, it definitely doesn't feel like a cream. So if you're expecting a cream blush, 
I definitely wouldn't say it's that, but it's just a very, very creamy sort of matte formula. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had anything like it, but I think that color is stunning and so just goes with everything. Like, I feel like this color is going to go with so many looks and it's going to be one of those colors that if I don't know what to wear at the end of my makeup look when I've done my eyes, I can reach for this and just be really happy knowing that it's going to go with everything. That is beautiful. Yeah, so far I love that. Next, let's go in with the cream here. Now, I'm not usually into cream highlighters, I will admit. So I think what I'm going to do is just tap a little bit of it on with my finger because I'm not sure exactly what kind of brush I would use with this. So I'm just going to use this as a bit of a base for the powder highlighter to put on top. Like I wouldn't use this just on its own. It is really pretty, but it's quite subtle. But I think giving the, the powder just kind of tacky base is gonna be really, really nice. And I do like the way that this is going on, even though, like I said, I have powder in my face. So I feel like this is going on quite nicely over the top of this. And you could definitely go in with like, you know, a brush if you wanted a more intense application but I just want to have it to be a little bit sticky so that when I go in with a highlighter over the top, it's going to be really blinding. So since this highlighter is very metallic, very intense, I'm going to take a very fluffy brush. This is just a highlighting brush from Unicorn Cosmetics. It's very, very flimsy, and that's exactly what I want. I just want to kind of see... I barely dipped <laughs> into the pan with this. That is beautiful. Again, it's a very wearable highlighter and I don't feel like it accentuates any texture. It's very, very smooth. It just looks really nice on the skin. And I think for uh, my skin tone, this is like the perfect depth that I look for in a highlighter. I would say I'm pretty much a light now. If I were to pick up any new foundation, I would just go with whatever the light neutral is. So if that's of any help to you to figure out like if this would work for your skin tone, I would say it probably would. And it would definitely work for someone with a deeper skin tone as well. I'm not sure exactly how deep, but that looks really nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I'm just gonna highlight my nose just a little bit more. And we're gonna go ahead and try out the lip products. So it comes with a lip liner, a gloss, and a lipstick. So of course I don't have anything on my lips because I wanna test these out. And I think that this color is gonna be absolutely Stunning. So let's start off with the lip liner. I don't have any lip liners from Natasha Denona, so I'm very excited to be trying out this formula. This one is in the shade. I think it's just called Natasha from what I can see on it. So should I swatch these? I'm going to swatch them kind of as I go on my hand here. So this is a beautiful, how would I explain this? Almost like a pinky nude, but it's not really pink, but it's also not really brown. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on and see how I feel. It felt very creamy when I swatched it. That is a beautiful color. That really is like a my lips but better. I can see myself using this lip liner so often because it's gonna go with so many lipsticks in my collection. So I'm really excited about this. Next, go ahead and try out the lipstick. And I do already have one of the cream lipsticks from Natasha Denona and I really enjoy them. Oh, this color. This color is so pretty. Oh my God. Is this one just called Natasha too? It just says my dream lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch that next to the lip liner. So the lip liner is a little bit darker than the lipstick, but the lipstick color, oh my God, I can't wait to put this on. It felt also very creamy. Yep, that's a beautiful color. I'm gonna kind of just go over with my finger a little bit. I don't like having too much product on my lips personally, so I'm gonna share it out just the tiniest amount. Yeah, that looks so nice. So I don't know if I wanna put on a gloss quite yet. I'm gonna save the gloss for the end because I wanna see how this lipstick wears while we're doing the eye look, but let me take it out of the tube. So it looks to be sort of the same color. This one has separated a little bit, but also it's been super hot out lately. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake this up and hopefully it'll be okay. This has been out in like 110 degrees. And I just took it in, like I took it in like, you know, 10 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna swatch that on my hand with the other ones. Okay, so that is quite a pigmented gloss. I wasn't expecting that, but I love that because I prefer my glosses to 
have some pigment to them. So here are they all swatched out. Those colors are so pretty, man. Like, I feel like this collection is like so well thought out and I think it's something that so many people are gonna find so wearable, but at the same time, just so, I don't know, fun to play with. Like, I just feel like, I haven't even used this palette yet, but I feel like every look that I end up doing with this palette is just gonna be those kind of looks that makes you feel really pretty. And I have so many palettes that are super colorful and super out there, and I don't have a lot of palettes like this in my collection. So I'm actually really excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base like I always do. Funny story about how I started using this actually. I don't think I've shared this in a video before, but I was at Sephora, which is like the convention that they had in LA before the pandemic. I wanna say it's what, it was maybe 2019. And I was watching one of Natasha Denona's like uh, live performances she was doing makeup on on someone and she said something like all right I'm gonna start by priming with my eyeshadow base and I don't remember if I was the one who said it or someone else was like which base are you using and she went my base and I was like oh <laughs> so that is why it's called the Natasha Non eyeshadow base because it's her base and she was just saying she was using the I just thought it was funny <laughs> and that's how I ended up buying it and ever since then it is like my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time. I just think it works so well with everything. I think I wanna mostly focus on kind of berry tones. Like I'm wearing another one of my INH ponytails because I can't help myself. This one is uh, Allie. We love Allie because she's beautiful. She's got like these beautiful kind of beachy waves. I love the length of it. I love everything about this. I love this color too. This is the color. Red wine. I will link this one down below as well if you're interested. And I'll definitely make a video showing these because honestly, so many of you were interested in seeing that. And I was kind of shocked by the response when I asked because I didn't think that that many people would be interested. But since so many people asked, I will absolutely do that. So I'm gonna start by, I think I'm gonna use the shade here called Instinct in my crease as my transition shade. This one is a cream to powder. Love the cream to powder formula. I'm gonna see if I can get this to be like kind of the same color as my hair on my eyes, hopefully. And I think I'm gonna deepen it up with this very dark uh, powder matte uh, brown shade because it just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna start with a shade called Instinct. I'm using a refer brush, which is a natural hair brush. I do find with the cream to powders that they work better with natural hair brushes. Not that they don't work with synthetic, but I just find that these brushes just pick up the shadows a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go, that is so pigmented and so pretty. Okay, I love this color already. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade. I don't wanna do like anything super fancy for this look. I just wanna see how the colors perform. I just wanna see how I feel about the formulas. And then I will do a three looks one palette with this. Uh, at some point, I do have a lot of things that's come in lately and that I know are coming. So I will probably do like some first impressions with those before I start on another multiple look video, but just know that that's coming. So if you're new and you wanna see more looks, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. This isn't going to be the only video that I'm making with this palette, but I wanted to make sure I got a video up pretty quickly. So we're just gonna do one look today and then we'll do more looks later, but I love that color. That is so pretty. Do I wanna do this under my eyes? Well, I'm thinking no, I just wanna test, test out more shades. So. I'm just gonna do this in my crease as my transition shade. This is just blending out like a dream. This is such a pretty color. Next, gonna take a brush from BK Beauty. This is the A504, and I'm gonna use the shade here called Aspiration, which like I said, it's just a very, very deep chocolatey, cool tone brown and I'm gonna use that to deepen up the outer corner of my eye with and this is such a pretty shade of brown like you guys know I've definitely gotten way more into neutral shades lately than I used to be and I feel like I can see nuances better in neutral shades now than I used to before I'd look at a palette and be like they all look the same <laughs> but honestly I feel like the neutral shades in this palette just make so much sense tone-wise and depth-wise, and they're all kind of justified to be in here. I don't feel like any of the shades are redundant or too similar. I feel like they just, like I said, they just make, that is so pretty. 
Oh, I love how deep that is and I haven't even used a black. I don't even think I want to use a black for this look. I think I just want to use these two shades in my crease. Man, the depth of this shadow is insane. If there's one thing I love, it's a matte shadow that goes so deep that it almost looks black without being black. Oh, I love this. Just wiping off this brush a little bit and I think I want to do, do I want to do the purple underneath my eye? I'm kind of thinking I want to use this shade. Is that kind of boring? Maybe, but like I said, I just want to try as many shades as possible. This is a shade called Familia and I'm just going to go ahead and run that underneath my eye. When I swatched this shade, it definitely swatched. I felt like deeper and darker than it looked in the pan and it seemed like it would have a lot of depth. The shade goes so nicely with my sweater. And I don't know if you remember earlier, I was like, yeah, it's 110 out. It's 110 out. Am I still wearing a sweater? Yes. Do I care? No, because I'm so ready for fall. <sighs> I'm just like pretending. I'm pretending like the outside weather is just not even a thing. And that I can still wear my cozy sweaters and not be hot AF, but I'm still hot AF and I, 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 I don't care. Like this is just what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of make sure that the outer corner here is blended. I'm just doing small circular motions just to kind of mix everything nicely here on the outer part. I'm going to go back in with the transition shade that I used, which was the cream to matte sort of berry shade. And I'm just going to make sure that the blend is the way that I want it. I'm going to wing this out a little bit more here because I just want to get a bit more of a shape on the outer corner. I'm just flicking it very, very lightly. I don't want too much of this. I just want to make sure that it's looking the way that I want. Like, I feel like there's a big difference between this eye now and this eye. This one is looking just a little bit kind of incomplete. So I'm just going to do the same thing. This palette really is a dream so far. I don't know what else to say. It's so good. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. I can't wait to play more with this saying that as I'm like, playing with this palette. I feel like that says a lot. So I think I'm going to use two shimmers on my lid. I'm going to use probably these two because they're just calling my name. They look so pretty. I'm going to use some of my NYX glitter primer because I do that with every shimmer that I use unless I'm lazy and I spray my brush. But right now it was in front of me and it was very easy to get to. So I'm just going to take my refer number 21 brush. I'm just going to put that glitter primer all over the front portion of my lid where I want that shimmer. It's gonna blend it a little bit into the outer corner as well. And then with the sticky side of my brush here, I'm gonna go into the shade called, <laughs> this one is called Babies. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. I just was not expecting that to be the name of the shade. <laughs> I'm gonna do that on the outer portion of my lid here. And then we're gonna do the orange in the front portion. I would say this shade is a little bit of a sheer formula, but it's building nicely and it's blending very nicely into that outer corner shade as well. I'm not seeing any kind of like glitter particles or anything in it. It's just a beautiful metallic shimmer. And I think the star of the show is definitely going to be this orange. When I swatched it, like I said, it didn't swatch that great, but I feel like it's the kind of shade that you just need to put on your lid to be able to really see the magic in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the front portion here. Yeah, this one is way more textured, but in a good way and it's way more sparkly. And I kind of wish I put this all over my lid now instead of just in the front portion. Like I am a sucker for orangey gold shades like this. I just think they're so pretty. Yeah, definitely wish I put this all over my lid, but hey, it is what it is. I wanted to try out more shades and now I'm just gonna cover up everything that I just did with the shade because it is so pretty. Now, if you're someone who don't like shadows that enhances texture on your eyelids, you might like the first shimmer that I use more than this one, but I just think that something this sparkly is, oh, just makes me so much more happy than something that is <laughs> flattering. <laughs> The shade is gonna look so beautiful too with a neutral crease rather than a berry crease. Like I'm really feeling fall with this look and that's exactly what I was going for. 
I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade underneath my eye as well. Or maybe I'll try one more shade because let's just try out more of them. So I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Thrill. And I'm gonna see what this one looks like dry without spraying it. Just gonna put a little bit of that on the front portion of my lower lash line. This one is definitely more kind of pink based and I don't feel like this one is as textured as the one that I just used but it's definitely metallic and it would be even more metallic if you sprayed it or put it on top of an eyeshadow primer. Yeah, very, very pretty. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this look. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off. I'll probably pull in some kind of an inner corner highlight from somewhere else because I just, I, I feel like I want something a little bit lighter that's, than what's in this palette, but that's just a personal preference thing and I have no problem doing that. So I'm gonna quickly finish off, do some lashes and I'll come back, show you the look, and we can try the lip gloss as well. Okay, and here is how I decided to finish off. I did some nude in my waterline. This is by far my favorite nude eyeliner in my collection. This is the Norvina one. I think this one is great. I also did some lashes, which I know they're from Unicorn Cosmetics, but I don't know the style because I can't be the only one who does this. I rip my lashes off at night and then put them in front of me on my, my table, wherever I'm at, and then... I'm like, I don't want to go all the way into my studio and put them back into the box. So I like find a little Ziploc bag and I put them in there and I put the Ziploc bag in a drawer to keep them away from my cat. When this whole time I could have just gone into my studio, gotten the box and put them in a the box. But instead I just don't do that. So <laughs> I don't know what style these are, but I can try to find them on their website and link them down below if you're interested. Let's go ahead and try out the gloss though. I'm interested in this. I'm not usually someone who will wear a gloss on top of an already creamy lipstick. I find that to be a little bit too much product for my lips personally, but we're gonna try it. So I don't wanna go too heavy on this. I just wanna have a little bit Yeah, it does seem to layer very nicely over the top of the lipstick. Like I said, for me, this is a little bit too much product on my lips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove uh, the gloss and the lipstick, just put on the lip liner and then do the gloss together with the lip liner because that is how I would wear it. Or I would just wear the gloss on its own if it's pigmented enough. Let's just see what the gloss looks like with just the lip liner. Really pretty color. I don't think that this one is, for me personally, I have very small lips. I think that this is the kind of gloss that I need a lip liner with. I don't think it's opaque enough that I can kind of overline and stuff with it, but that's totally fine. I prefer using glosses with lip liners anyway, so I don't mind that. I think it looks beautiful. I think this eye look is beautiful. I think the face products are beautiful. I'm gonna put on just a little bit more blush. I just wanna see how this kind of feels. I feel like I lost a little bit of it. I'm not sure if I showed you the packaging on this, but it's the same packaging that is for the palette as well. Same with the lipstick. They all have that little splatter detail on it, which I absolutely love that. Just going in with a little bit more of that blush here. I don't think that this is the kind of blush that you can <laughs> go overboard with. I think it's a very buildable formula that you're not gonna have any accidents with. You're not gonna put this on your face and be like, oh shit, now what do I do? This is definitely very user-friendly and like you can tell is going on top of my powder beautifully and I really like this. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the highlighter as well. Yeah, that is also just so pretty. Like I, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. Not that I didn't think I would like it, but I'm very pleasantly surprised by just how well they work for my skin tone and how much I like the colors on me. And this palette is absolutely stunning, like so beautiful. I love every single color that I use, no issues with this whatsoever. I'm so excited to keep playing more with this. I'm excited to try out the Multicrom. I'm excited to use the black. I'm excited to use just the rest of the shades here that I haven't used. I feel like I used enough today to have a good first impression, but of course, this is just a first impression and you are going to get more looks. I just don't know exactly when, but just trust me when I say it will be coming. But so far, I love everything in this collection. I think it is so beautiful. I can totally see why this is her dream collection and the kind of products that she's been wanting to come out with for a long time. Everything really is just so wearable, so beautiful. It's gonna work for so many different people. And I just, I think it's really, really nice. If you guys have been eyeing this collection, 
I would say go ahead and get it, even though this is only my first impression. I already know I love these things. Like sometimes you can just tell when you've been trying makeup for such a long time, you just know when something is good the first time you use it. And it's very rare for me to like change my mind about products. And I feel like especially products like these, I just don't see myself really changing my mind about them. But of course I'm gonna, you know, keep using them. And if for some reason my opinion changes, I will make sure to let you know. But that's gonna be it for my first impression thoughts. Let me know if you're interested in picking this up. Have you already picked it up? Are you waiting to see reviews to pick it up? Let me know how you feel about this collection in general. Do you like it? Do you think it's boring? Do you think it's too repetitive, close to what she already has? Or do you feel like there is, there's room for this collection too? Because I definitely feel like this isn't the same as other things that she has come out with, especially for someone like me who don't have like everything from Natasha Denona. I'm super happy I picked this up. That's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see some more Natasha Denona content, maybe I'll make a playlist. Those videos are probably gonna be quite old, <laughs> but if you wanna cringe, <laughs> why am I doing this? I don't know. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.